With an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's home game in the National League South against Slough. Aggie, how are you feeling ahead of this one? Uh, yeah, looking forward to being back at home. Um, looking forward to building on um, recent performances. Uh, acknowledge that it's going to be a tough game because they're a decent side. Uh, they've had a good start to the season. Um, very direct, very aggressive. Play a good high tempo, front foot. Um, two up top. Uh, yeah, so it should be a it should be a difficult game, but uh, one we're looking forward to. Yeah, just before we get into Saturday properly, I guess looking back at midweek, I've never seen such a positive reaction to a defeat before online. Both, but sorry, both online and from you as coaching staff and as players as well. To, looking back at that on uh, on Tuesday night, what were your thoughts reflecting on it? Uh, yeah, I, I watched it back a couple of times. Obviously, at the time we were pretty positive around how we played. Obviously, gutted not to not to win the game, um, or at least get a point out of it. Um, but then, watching it back last couple of days, it was uh, it got even better, to be honest, um, and just made the feeling of frustration that we didn't win even more, um, yeah, even stronger. So, uh, yeah, the challenge for us is to try and um, reproduce that level of performance because if we can do that consistently. Then as I said, we'll, we'll win a lot of games. Um, you know, it's, uh, I didn't realise there was some uh, the refereeing decisions in the game were as interesting as what they were as well. So Mo's goal that got disallowed, but uh, and there was a couple of other decisions uh, in the second half where offside decisions as well, where you look at it and you go, oh, that's not offside either. So uh, that sort of compounded the frustration a little bit, but um, yeah. Um, very, very pleased with the level of performance, but equally frustrated with uh, not winning the game because you know, ultimately if we're going to do what we want to do, we need to go to places like Torquay and win like we did at Bourne Wood. So, um, yeah, very, very good performance and happy with that, but uh, we're also not getting uh, blinded by the fact that we need to win those games as well. I guess now it's about using the frustration, as you've already touched on, to to come up with three points on Saturday and, and repeat the performance again against a tough opposition in Slough. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, whenever we've um, we've lost, albeit three times, we've, um, we've always responded and we've always come back uh, and produced a decent run of form. Uh, we've always bounced back of a win and we've gone on to, as I said, uh, you know, win multiple games uh, in succession. So the challenge is, can we, can we do that, but bigger and better? Uh, but again, what we do know is Slough are decent, a good side, uh, but equally we know if we produce that level of performance that we did against Torquay with that intensity and that aggression and um, that quality and possession married with the real energy and enthusiasm and dog that we showed out of possession, then uh, we'll give ourselves a very good chance uh, to win against Slough. And looking at the team for that game against Slough, is there anyone suspended or, or that will miss out through injury? Uh, mm, suspension wise, no. Um, Glenn will be. Glenn got his fifth booking on Tuesday night, so that'll be against Bath, uh, which is a big loss because he's been very good um, for us. But in terms of Slough suspensions, none. Injuries, yeah, a couple. Uh, Joe Cook still struggling, um, and I thought. You know, he's obviously a, he's obviously a miss for us because he's he's played a key role in our sort of recent run of four wins out of five. But equally, I thought Packer come in and done well. So, um, it's like Joe Cook's touch and go at best, and Jack Wooden uh, again struggling as well. So, a uh, couple of key players for us that miss out. But like I said, the players that come in on uh, Tuesday night uh, were very good. Kane Wills, who obviously partnered Glenn Ray in the field. I thought Kane was up there, man of the match, I thought he was superb. So, uh, yeah, it's just an opportunity for others to step into the fold and um, deliver. 